Wow, the Chicago Bears will not be signing defensive tackle Larry Ogunjobi because he failed his physical. What's going on guys? I'm back with another Chicago Bears free agency update video. I don't think I've ever done one of these before where we signed a player and we haven't been able to sign him because he failed his physical, but that's exactly what happened with defensive tackle Larry Ogunjobi. Okay, he was our biggest signing of the offseason. Three technique, it would have been nice to have him in Chicago, but... According to the Bears, he failed his physical and he will no longer be coming to the Chicago Bears. I'll read the statement the Bears gave today. From Ryan Poles, as I said before, Larry Ogunjobi embodies everything we're looking for in a Bear. He's a special person and player. During the league's negotiating window earlier this week, we agreed to terms with him, sub subject to him passing a physical here. After a standard and thorough physical and medical review with Larry yesterday afternoon, our medical team deemed him to have failed his physical and therefore, unfortunately, we are not signing him today. This is difficult and it is emotional for everyone involved, but ultimately it is what is in the best interest of protecting the Chicago Bears. Wow, guys, this is insane news to me because, again, I can't remember the last time the Bears, you know, signed a big name player and were not able to actually get the deal done because that player failed his physical. Okay, Larry Ogunjobi was our biggest signing of the offseason so far. A massive get for Ryan Poles filling that three technique spot. And now, unfortunately, he's no longer going to be coming to Chicago because apparently his broken foot that he dealt with um, last year in the playoffs, it's still not fully healthy, which I guess in some ways it's good that we're, you know, realizing this right now and it's not going to be a factor for us when the season actually starts because I feel like in the Ryan Pace era, right, like there are a lot of players that we signed or drafted where they weren't available to play for us at the beginning of the year and we didn't know about that as fans until the last second. So I totally get why they didn't end up signing him. And, you know, it's a good choice, right? Because if you're investing over $13 million a year into a defensive tackle that isn't going to be healthy for you, that's a bad, bad contract. So really sucks, man, because I was looking forward to seeing this guy in Chicago. I already made a hype video for him, too. I already had, like, highlights up on my Twitter feed, on my YouTube page. And would have been nice, man, to see him in the middle of that defense playing the three technique, but... It's not going to happen, okay? And now we have to look towards other options to fill that three technique spot. And fortunately for us, a lot of them have already signed so far because free agency started like four days ago. So there's not too many elite level options available on the market right now. We might have to go with somebody a little bit cheaper. But I guess in some ways that could turn out for the better, right? If we invest that money into the offense instead. Like if we take this Larry Ogunjobi money and invest it into a player like Juju Smith or an offensive tackle like I would be totally okay with us doing that so again really sucks man we couldn't get this Ogunjobi deal done um I wish him the best of luck hopefully he gets healthy you know pretty soon and continues his NFL career but that's not going to be in Chicago unfortunately let me know your thoughts down below guys about this but as always bear down